Cookies, baby boss. Right, I'm just gonna do kind of a love reading, and then um, I will use the, the psychic tarot of the heart, and I'll probably go mostly on my intuition on that one, and I'll probably do some clarifiers on these. Oh, look, you got twin flame at the bottom of the deck. How lovely. Okay, messages for Aries, please. Oops, turn that round. Messages for Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Okay. Right, so Aries, you have admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. <coughs> you have moment. Think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. You have the soul. Your soul is preparing uh, to reconnect, trust in the process. You've got a past life. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. And then you've got confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask of the divine to provide answers that you need. Let's do some clarifiers. I'll get the tarot. The old trusted. The original right away. Okay, uh, clarified Maya. Um, who is it? Are we just dealing with clarified Maya? <laughs> okay, uh, it could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius that admires you, but there could be a little bit of conflict right now. Uh, someone who's um could try to want to want to win at all costs, beat out the competition. All right, clarified moment. I think that special moment that brought you. Much joy with your partner. Clarifying. Clarifying moment. Okay, so think of a special time um, that you had with your partner, Aries. That this was your wish fulfillment. There was balance and you had patience. Okay, soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Yeah, um, you may have a few trust issues at the moment. That could be why you're sad and regretful, because there is trust issues here. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. On the moment, you've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. Um, this could be someone who has all of these signs in their chart, if this is literally one person, which I think it is one person. But someone here is sad and regretful. Okay, what is past lives? We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. Yeah, and here we go. Missed opportunity. Um, feeling, not left out in the cold. Uh, feeling rejected and um, possibly boredom. Again, this could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Clarify confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. One from on the floor. You're trying to find out the truth about a third party, Aries. That's what this is. Um, this is Libra energy. Someone could have Libra in their chart. They don't have to. But yeah, you're trying to find um, answers right now. Uh, to see whether or not you were put in a third party situation. Let's clarify. Was Aries put in a third party? Yes, you were. Okay, <laughs> this could be why there's, there's trust issues here. Okay, clarify the three pentacles. Yeah, and it brought, you, it brought your foundation crumbling down. Aries, you found out you were put in a third party and it tore you apart. Oh, I don't know who put you in a third party, but... It was air energy. Alright, let's uh, go to the psychic tarot because I really don't want to get into those kind of energies because I've been trying to deal with that all day and I had enough of it. So, let's see, messages for Aries and their person. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. Aries and their person, please. Either you or your person does not want to talk right now, you're in a mood. Win or lose at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> so either one of you could be feeling that this is a win or lose situation. You could feel like if you win, then great. But if you lose, 
that sword is going to come crashing back down again and stab you in the back. This is why it's a windy situation. But remember that you have the sacral chakra. So there, has, there is a hell of a lot of passionate energy towards you both. Or, you know, between you both. Master. Someone's a magician. Someone's manifesting. Possibly using magic. Reach out. This person will reach out to you. They're going to communicate. Co communicate. Communicate with you. Whoever this is, they're going to communicate with you. They're very passionate about you. They're manifesting you. It could be a little bit of manipulation here or a bit of magic. Someone's using a bit of magic. You have detached. So what do you need to detach? So we'll just clarify that. What is detached, please? What does Aries need to detach from? <sighs> the burden of being stabbed in the back. The betrayal. So detach from the betrayal so you can move forward. Because somebody wants to reach out and talk to you. Someone is manifesting you. I want to find out who... Who is manifesting Aries? Who is manifesting Aries who has a lot of passion? Oh. Well, someone definitely wants a new beginning. They are manifesting you back. I'm, ugh, I'm hearing this as a reconciliation. You could already have a family with this person, Aries. Um, we've got the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Scorpio. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Obviously, this could be anywhere in their charts. But because we've got the Queen of Swords here, this is the person who wants to come back to you. You could have a family with them already. They are manifesting you. They're very passionate about you. So you need whatever betrayal happened in the past, Aries. I think you just really need to let it go and move forward. Because I'm feeling kind of desperate energy here. Yeah, reach out to them or they need to reach out to you. One of you needs to make a move. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I think. Let's get some more. Aries and their person. Aries and their person. You're in your base chakra. Base chakra is open. Your solar plexus chakra is open between the pair of you. Oh, wow. Aries, your heart chakra is finally open. After a long time. Your heart chakra is open to love again, because look, we've got love, but at the moment you're f you're feeling a little bit alone right now. You do feel like you're in the darkness all alone. You've got a lot on your plate, but you've got giving and receiving. You could feel like you're giving more to a situation and you're not receiving anything back. This has to be an equal give and take between you two, or it's just not going to work. Can I get a couple more please for Aries? Yeah, you need balance in this situation. And just simply love. Love each other. There has to be balance here. There's got to be harmony. There has to be an equal give and take. You might be feeling alone right now, but there is love here. You both love each other. Your heart chakras are open. This is combined energy between you both. But there needs to be balance between you both. You need to love each other. Equal give and take. Right, do you know what? I'm leaving it there. Aries, that is your reading. That's what we're done.